Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Uh oh, I don't have my little thing open there. What I like about this Yeti one is it's just a magnet that it holds this on. So you can take it off and wash underneath it. A lot of them, it's, it's, you can't wash underneath them hardly. I mean, it's the way they're made. Uh, anyway, today's Friday, March 15th. Currently, it's 56 degrees. High today is going to be 63. Uh, chance of rain, 75%. And winds at 4 mile per hour. I need to get my start getting my tomatoes potted up. I've got all my peppers potted up. But not, not the tomatoes. And uh, for some reason, the, um, the, the uh, I think they're just called like the classic beef steak. They're, they're a little droopy. They're the only ones that are like that. I don't understand why. Um, maybe they'll do better once I get them in a, a little pot. You know, we'll see. But they, usually I don't have any problem with the sprouts from tomatoes. But for some reason, those are a little droopy. Okay, uh, today there will be a, uh, every now and then I use the thumbnails from uh, early morning prayer requests and devotions to make a little, like a, uh, like a slideshow video. Um, I, I think they're really, I, I really like them and everybody that watches them, you know, I believe they like them too from their comments and stuff. But, uh, you know, it just, you can kind of just go along and, and watch them and you can, uh, they have, you know, verses, different verses and things in them, and the pictures you just seem to go with it really well and stuff. So that's going to be today. Uh, what's for dinner? Uh, the plan right now is, unless we change our mind for some reason, uh, fish, shrimp, hush puppies, and fries. If we go, happen to go to the store, which I don't know, kind of don't think we will, I'd like to have some cold coleslaw, but really don't need much at the store right now. We're working on these freezers, getting them down to where I can at least uh, defrost this one and get some ice out of it. It's built up. So yeah, I'm going to try that new uh, Hush Puppy uh, mix. Uh, what was the name of that stuff? Oh, let me see. Hi there, Kitty. House, House Autry. I had a, uh, I bought a rebate on it. I think it was like 75 cents on it. And uh, it says extra sweet onion mix. So, we haven't had hush puppies in a long time. I think they'll be good with it. Okay, uh, time for jokes of the day. Teacher, you are the only one in the entire class who makes so many mistakes in the homework assignment. Student, that is not true. I am the only one. I am not the only one. My parents are involved in this as well. <laughs> oh, parents giving her bum, bum info there. <laughs> uh, a priest was talking to a group of kids about being good and going to heaven. At the end of his talk, he asked, where do you want to go? Heaven, heaven, yelled little Lisa. And what do you have to be to get there? Asked the priest. Dead, yelled little Johnny. <laughs> oh, okay. And thought of the day, this is from George Carlin, so you realize why it is like it is. Um, think of how stupid the average person is and realize half of them are stupider than that. <laughs> that sounds like George Carlin for sure. Okay, I saw a, um, uh, where was it? Here it is. This is uh, Take This Quiz on American Game Shows and Other TV Trivia. We haven't done, I don't know if we've actually done one on game shows yet. We've done on, you know, TV shows and stuff. Okay. Who hosted the popular game show The Price is Right until 2007? Richard Dawson, Alex Trebek, Drew Carey, Bob Barker. And that was a thing to watch back in the day. I remember mom watching that. And of course I did too. Uh, whenever I had a chance. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll go over the names again. Richard Dawson, Alec Tr Alex Trebek, Drew Carey, and Bob Barker. It's Bob Barker. 
Yes. And then Drew Carey after him. Bob Barker, by name of Robert William Barker, uh, is an American game show host and animal rights activist who is best known for hosting The Price is Right from 1972 until 2007. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's wild. Okay, in which game show... In which game show contestants had to guess between three doors to win? It shows three doors there. Jeopardy. The newlywed game. Let's make a deal. The dating game. I remember the newlywed game. It was so funny for back then. I, I mean, if I watched it now, I might think it was a little corny. But it was, we loved it. And we loved uh, watching the dating game, too. Well, all of these. Well, we didn't watch Jeopardy as much. But we did watch it, and let's make a deal. Okay, so I say uh, the three doors, to pick one out of the three doors is let's make a deal. Yep, let's make a deal is a television game show that originated in the United States in 1963 and has since been produced in many countries throughout the world. 63, wow. What game show has been on TV the longest? Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, The Price is Right. Hmm. Wow, okay. I don't know if they just said The Price is Right was around pretty much forever. Uh, Jeopardy. It seems like Wheel of Fortune came after um, one of these. It's it's Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, The Price is Right, for the longest one. Um, wow, I'm not for sure. Uh, what game show has been on TV long? Wheel of Fortune, I don't think so, though. Jeopardy. Uh, I'm going to go with Price is Right, I guess. I, I might be wrong. Oh, I got it, yeah. The Price is Right is an American television game show created by Bob Stewart, Mark Goodson, and Bill Todman, where contestants compete by guessing the prices of merchandise to win cash and prizes. <coughs> the 50th season premieres September 13, 2021. Which 60s game show had a bachelorette choosing between three suitors? The Dating Game, Tic Tac Doe, Password, The Newlywed Game. <laughs> dating Game, Tic Tac Toe, Password, Newlywed Game. I, I just mentioned we used to watch this, so I definitely know that it is The Dating Game. Yep. The Dating Game is an American television game show that first aired on December 20, 1965, and it was the first of many shows created and packaged by Chuck Barris from the 60s through the 80s. Which talk show host previously served as mayor of Cincinnati? David Letterman, Johnny Carson, Jerry Springer, Merv Griffin. Wow, 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 wow. Um, Mayor of Cincinnati. This is tricky for me. Uh, David Letterman, Johnny Carson, Jerry Springer, and Merv Griffin. Um, it does seem like, I didn't watch it that much, but it does seem like I heard something about Jerry Springer like that. Yep, it is. Jerry Springer, British-born American television host and politician, best known for The Jerry Springer Show, a daytime talk show featuring controversial topics and outrageous guest behavior. And he was elected mayor of the city in 1977, served 77 to 78. Which game show pitched two families against each other? Shows a bunch of people on a beach. The Gong Show, The Wall, What's My Line, Family Feud. I used to love watching that What's My Line, trying to figure out, you know. I think that was like, was it that the one that you tried to figure out what they did for a living or something? 
I, I'm, I'm not sure. That was a long time ago. The gong show was always funny. I don't remember the wall, really. Okay, I'm going to say it's Family Feud. Yep. Family Feud is an American television game show created by Mark Goodson. It features two families who compete to name the most popular answers to survey questions in order to win cash and prizes. And we used to get into it, boy. We were, uh, they had some funny answers, too, on it, if I remember. In which show do we hear live from New York? It's Saturday night. Shows that, whatever that is. <coughs> Saturday Night Live, The Late Show, Last Week Tonight, The Tonight Show. Well, back in the day, we always had to watch uh, Saturday Night Live. It was so funny. Uh, all the, the people that they had back then all turned out to be big stars, pretty much. It is Saturday Night Live. Uh, Live. Saturday Night Live, often abbreviated to SNL, is an American late-night television sketch comedy and variety show created by Lorne Michaels and developed by Dick Ebersol. I got seven right and none wrong so far. Wow. Which reality competition cooking show is hosted by Gordon Ramsay? Shows some food being prepared. Hell's Kitchen, Sugar Rush, Chopped, Iron Chef America. Cooking show hosted by Gordon Ramsay, Hell's Kitchen, Sugar Rush, Chopped, Iron Chef America. I'll tell you what, I like to cook. But if I was cooking and, and uh, you know, Gordon was riding me, I don't think I could uh, do right. I mean, I would be like, just forget it, you know. I'm trying my best, whatever. But he can really get on get on people. I don't see how they take it. Uh, I th it's Hell's Kitchen, appropriately named. Uh, Hell's Kitchen is a widely popular reality television show where Gordon Ramsay and his kitchen crew put up contestants and test their culinary skills, I'd say. Okay, the newlywed game had recently married couples do what? Solve puzzles, predict each other answers, play various board games, compete in athlete athleticism. Y'all remember the Newlywood game? What was that guy's name? Oh my gosh. That was, uh, it'll probably tell uh, after this. Um, it was funny, and you never knew what they were going to say. You know, uh, I don't know. It seemed like they had to censor some of the answers sometimes or something. They had to put them out or something. Uh, uh, so it's solve puzzles, predict each other answers, play various board games, complete in athleticism. They answered, yeah, each other. Uh, they answered the questions and see if they get it right with them. The Newlywed Game, yeah, it's an American television show that puts newly married couples against each other uh, in a series of revealing question rounds to determine how well the spouses know or do not know each other. Yeah, it was a good show. Nine right. Let's see if I can make it 10, 10 and 0 today. What popular American quiz game show debuted in 1964? American quiz game show. Jeopardy, Let's Make a Deal, The Newlywed Game, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Um, I think Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was, you know, seemed like it was much later. Uh, so Jeopardy, Let's Make a Deal, Newlywed Game, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And I believe it was um, Jeopardy. Yay! Uh, Jeopardy is an American game show created by Merv Griffin. The show is a quiz comp competition that reverses the traditional question and answer format of many quiz shows. Rather than, be rather than being given questions, cont contestants are given general knowledge clues to form the answers and they must Identify the person, place, thing, or idea. Wow, it just keeps going on. So, And it shows this after I answer this stuff at the bottom. It's not there <clears throat> until after you answer. So, I went 10 and 0 today, everybody. I hope you did, too. Um, <clears throat> didn't realize I knew that much about game shows. 
But hey, back in the day, before internet and cell phones and all that, what'd you do? You watch game shows half the night, and then watch, then we'd watch something like a movie, some type of movie, you know, later at night. Uh, but up until about nine, I guess, we watched uh, game shows of different kinds. You know, just it seemed like everybody did. Uh, so anyway, any, I hope y'all uh, enjoyed this morning's coffee break if you did i hope you'll press that like button also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out everybody i hope you have a great morning and a great day and definitely check out my beautiful scripture video later on today bye everyone and god bless